Hey everybody, Spike here. What is today? Friday, the 29th, uh, March. And anyways, I uh, went out and caught my limited crappie here early this morning. And I'm out here at the garden. Come out here to pick up some rocks from my mom's flower garden. She wanted some flat rocks. So I come out here and went over here with my this pile of rocks. Nice big flat one laying over there. I bent down and picked it up. And look what was underneath that son of a bitch. That is a huge, huge copperhead. And I normally don't like killing snakes, but this thing here could put a hurting on somebody. I mean, this is a monster, monster copperhead, and I'm going to skin him out, hang him on the wall. And there was another one there right beside it, and there it is. So I needed to say, I, I jumped about 10 feet in the freaking air. Well, the hell with them arrowheads. I ain't messing around with these snakes. <laughs> That's one big ass copperhead. He's uh he's at least three foot long. I'll put a measuring stick on him whenever I get home. But here. Jump. Don't hold it sideways. I don't know if they're good eating or not. They eat rattlesnake. I damn sure ain't gonna eat it. He ain't gonna eat me. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go skin me a snake. Later. Hey everybody, it's Spike here. Friday the what is it, 29th. Anyways, uh, got no arrowheads, but the big snakes that I got. I got the big ones skinned already. And I just want to show you here what I did to him. Got him stretched out, skinned, stretched out here on the board. Got them all salted. It's going to be an awesome, awesome skin. 40 inches. Is how long that copperhead was. There's my, there's my hand. That's, well, this is the hood of the car. There's that copperhead skin. I got stretched out, all salted up, cheering up. We got one more. One more down here. The 24 incher. I wish I, I should have videoed the big one before. I got him skinned and all nailed down there because the colors in him are just absolutely brilliant. Well, I didn't get, there he is, I didn't get the back part of his tail. But, anyways, I'm fixing to have me some belt buckles and a wallet, headband, hat band, whatever. Get a couple more like that, and I can make a pair of boots. But let's just try. I'm 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 going to do everything I can to avoid any more confrontation like I had today, because that was uh pretty scary. Mom wanted some flat rocks. 
for a rock garden, for a flower garden. This is the rock right here. I picked this big rock up, reached down and grabbed it, picked it up, and both of them suckers were right underneath it. And my hand was literally about two inches from the head of that big one. Yeah, spike jumped. I jumped 10 feet up and 10 feet back in one spring. <laughs> I don't think it was humanly possible, but I sure the hell did it. Anyways, uh, I know there's probably going to be some haters out there about killing snakes, you know, but when there's kids around playing and there's these kind of snakes around, nah, there's no question you kill the snakes because there's no place for these these kind of kind of snakes and kids. So, the haters, if you want to hate, go ahead and hate. You know, whatever. I don't care. Uh, yeah, I maybe could have caught them and placed them elsewhere, elsewhere but um, I didn't. But I'm not wasting them. I'm not going to eat them. If anybody, I, I don't know. I've I heard people eating rattlesnakes, but I'm not going to eat these damn copperheads. I don't know. I'm going to skin them. I'm going to put them in my display case, and that's the way it's going to be. Oh, and I did catch a big limit of crappie today. Tenfold. Tenfold. Alright, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Spike's got to go to work on Saturday. And that's alright, because there's so many people down here at the lake fishing, you can't even find a place to fish. So... Sign it out. Good luck, everybody. You're arrowhead hunting, you're fishing, snake ram, rat, rat, rambling up there, whatever. Whatever you got to do. Have a good one. Be safe. And talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, man, it's Spike again. I got the little ones skinned. I just got him stretched out. Let me show you, kind of show you guys how I did this. I uh, got this piece of walnut board here, shelf board. I just took these little nail tacks, I skinned him, used a pair of scissors, I split him down the tail, and I scissored him up the belly. I got him all laid out, stretched out, nailed down here. And I got some sea salt. The sea salt here will dry them out in no time. Be generous with it. Just kind of rub it in. I mean, but that salt just gets, it just pulls that moisture right out of that skin. I mean, this sucker will be dried out in no time. But skin felt dry before you put the salt on there. Now that salt just turns wet, 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 pulling that moisture out of that skin. When this thing gets good and dry, I'll pull them nails out. And I'm going to have some awesome snake skins. But there's that one. Lay it up here beside the big one. There's spiked snake skins. I think I could have done a little bit better job on stretching that big one. Well, what I did on the big one, 